All right, guys, so here we got two sponsored raw gear athletes. Fabricio. Brian. So let me ask you guys something. How did you come about getting into fitness? Where did you guys start? Uh, so I, all throughout high school, I played soccer and um, like graduated. Uh, I was supposed to play in college, but then uh, stuff like fell apart. So I just started going to the gym every day, just have something to do, you know? Uh, so yeah, just... So sports, you started with sports, and yeah. then you know after sports you kind of fell into love with fitness. Yeah, for sure. And for you? Same. My dad, he used to bodybuild. Uh, he used to be a bodybuilder, so he got me into fitness. So okay, that's so how you I were kind of born into it? Yeah, that's and my mom up? too, he used to... They're really young, they're 40 both. So, you know, they've been lifting, like, their whole life. So they got me into, you know, the fitness. That's lifestyle. awesome. Yeah. So you, you kind of had your own personal coach growing up? Yeah, kind of. My dad. Sweet, sweet. Yeah. So, how did you guys go about, you know, when you were trying, you figured, you know, I want to try to get sponsored by, by a brand. How did you guys go about that? What advice do you have for people trying to get sponsored by a, a fitness brand? So, oh, go ahead, bro. All right. uh, so, first, like, when COVID started, that's when I started posting on, uh, like, Instagram and stuff. Uh, I would say, like, just post daily. Uh, just, like, be genuine, you know, just be yourself. That's what people want to see. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, just be yourself, bro. Okay, okay. Yeah, I would say consistency is, like, the most important thing. I started six months ago posting on TikTok, and then, you know, I post every single day, every single day. And that's, you know, how, what got me, like, a lot of followers and more engagement and all that. How many so I would times say, a day would you say? Um, if you can post, like, twice a day, at least on TikTok and on Instagram, I would say daily or, like, every other day. Okay. But I would say consistency is the most important thing. Consistency. When, like, growing your followers. For sure. Okay, cool, yeah. cool. Appreciate you guys. Thank Definitely. you so much. Yeah. All right, so I'll let you introduce yourself first. Here we got one of the Raw Gears athletes. My name is Joshua Manoi, king of triceps. So let me ask you something. Obviously, you look great. You've been in the fitness for a long time. What got you started? What got me started in fitness? I got tired of being verbally bullied for being small. I used to be very skinny back when I was younger. And uh, I have an older brother, and he's actually the one who made me snap because I lived with him. A lot of people in school would just see me as a pushover, see, see me as the wimp walk over me. Nothing physical, thank God. I wasn't physically bullied, but I had had enough of being called small. The toothpick, I, I was sick of that shit. I, saw, I was sick of seeing my ribs, my collarbones. And uh, I really just was like, you know what? I'm gonna make a change for myself. So. Oh yeah, bro. Now those kids see you and they're sprinting the other way. Like, exactly, that. dude. Nobody's trying to step my way now. <laughs> One What's more question. What's up? What's up? Um, so, how did you go about getting a fitness sponsorship? A lot of people want to know. You know, their their goal is to try to obtain a fitness sponsorship. Correct. Um, what advice do you have for somebody trying to get a sponsorship? Okay, so I'll answer it because you you asked me too. How did I go about it, and what is my advice? I honestly. I stumbled upon it randomly, and I hate to say that, but when I first came to Zoo Culture, I signed up during COVID. It was the only gym open, basically. So I got here, and I was just continuing to do my, my regular thing, which was work out, take some cool pics, me flexing, and just keep posting now on Instagram. I had nothing in mind as far as getting a sponsorship, trying to land something. I wasn't out on a mission to try to do it. It just came to me. Okay. Brad saw me, like two days into being here at Zoo. And yeah, he noticed me. A, it helps looking like this too. Hey, yeah, it, man, yeah. the consistency and the hard work will go a long way just in general. But when you continue to put yourself out there, because I'd never been to Zoo, it's a different, different atmosphere for me. It's a cesspool for opportunity and collaborations, and I knew that. So, like I said though, I wasn't looking for a sponsorship, but I came here and I just continued doing what I do best, which was fucking run, run iron through the dirt. And Brad noticed me, Steve, the manager of Raw Gear, noticed me, and then within a week and a half, I received an email asking to be a part of the team. But as far as advice that I would give people who want to get sponsored is be consistent, be original, don't be afraid to be yourself, do not put on a front, do not try to fake it. Do not try to fake it. It's, it's about being authentic and being yourself. When you're yourself and when you can relate, when people can relate to you, when they know that you're somebody outside of just working out, and that's still something I'm trying to get through. Because people see me, they know I lift weight. You just fucking look at me and you know that. But what else can you do outside of that? Who are you outside of what everybody knows you're, you're all about, you know? So be yourself, be consistent, have creativity, and be authentic. That's my advice. Oh yeah, bro. Actually, Carly, how did you first get into fitness? Um, I had back surgery, so after back surgery, I I wanted to like. Well, before back surgery, I worked out a lot. I just ran a lot, and after back surgery, I wanted to get like back like in the shape again and fit again. And then I lost like 20 to 30 pounds. I became anorexic, and I was like, I want to gain weight back, but I don't want it to be fat. So I kind of just started like 
following girls on Instagram and like a little taking, motivation. Yeah, taking yeah. their advice and everything and overall just started like learning how to lift. Okay. So you said you started off running. Did you play a sport in high school or anything? Oh, so I did competitive cheerleading. So I did like all the tumbling and backflips and everything. Maybe you could kind of do a couple backflips right now or something. And honestly, since I had back surgery. Gotcha. Now since I had back surgery. Now we're just now we're just working on staying healthy, fitting and shape. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and getting my numbers up. <laughs> there you go. Well, you look great. Thank you. Yo, yeah. so, quick question. So here we got Joe. He's sponsored by Raw Gear. Um, so how did you first get into fitness? Uh. Dude, the Fortnite loading lobby took way too long, bro. I needed to do something in between. I had, like a spare like pair of dumbbells in my basement. I just started banging out like bench pressing like on the like flat ground. Okay, yeah. so Fortnite got you into lifting. Yeah. Okay, I love that. And then they banned double pump. So I just fucking quit Fortnite and just went to the gym. You're an OG. I'm an OG, OG. An OG. None of that fake shit, bro. We got in early. Good shit. Alright, so how did you get sponsored by Raw Gear? How'd you go about it? I just started posting on social media consistently, and it, as it, at first it was slow as it is for everyone. But like, you don't you don't see that. You only see people like at the top. But for everyone, the come up is so slow. And it's just, I was banging out like eight videos a day for like two months, and then eventually it started hitting. I started growing followers, and then eventually Brad hit me up one day. What advice do you have for people trying to uh, get a sponsor sponsorship? Consistency. Uh, just keep banging out videos. All right, don't be demotivated. If, they don't blow up because eventually your time will come because the more you do it the better you get at it and also uh, be different because there's so many people that are trying to do the same thing how are you gonna separate yourself use your personality here we got Steve Prince sponsored raw gear athlete Steve let me ask you how did you get into working out so I've probably been working out my whole entire life I played football when I, when I was younger I played in lacrosse and I've always just been like very active I've always been like an athletic type guy just like love sports and then I want to say like my senior year of high school I started like lifting seriously went to college for like lacrosse and just kept training there and then that's when I took uh, I would say like bodybuilding and fitness influencing a little bit more seriously have you done any competitions I've never done competitions no. okay do you plan to I kind of I don't know I'm not like a big competition guy I was always more like just, like, just kind of just like aesthetics look, looks good yeah yeah, like, yeah I've seen like how well he, it attracts people like people get cults from when you go like when you step on stage like it brings a lot of attraction a lot of people ask me so I'm like kind of thinking in the back of my head that maybe I should try it just just to try it yeah well, I don't know yet I don't have my love my love isn't there you know what I mean yeah you gotta want to do it you gotta exactly. want to do it another question so you got sponsored by raw gear a lot of people are trying to get a fitness sponsorship how did you go about it and what advice do you have for people trying to obtain Absolutely. something that you did I think the biggest advice is just putting yourself out there as much as possible like show your personality a lot uh, I'd say being consistent is a lot like when companies look at your page they want to see that you're very consistent they don't want to see someone that's like posting every now and then every wanna, day or? I would say probably like four times a week at least okay. and then on TikTok TikTok is what basically I think grew me the most and I would say on TikTok every day. Some every people day. do like three times post a day. I would, if you're really trying to grow, like really trying to grow, I would say three times, a, three times a day easily. Okay. Yeah. And are there specific like hours to post with TikTok? People would you say that. People say there's specific times, but I think everyone else's is different. Like my times are gonna be different than your times. So I live in Jersey, so my times are different than here by like three hours. Three hours yeah. so. It's definitely what, you gotta find your own uh, time. Yeah. I was actually just talking to a guy that has like 6.6 .6 million yesterday, and he has specific times for him. But my times might not be the same as his, you know what okay. I mean? So, so you just you gotta, gotta figure it out on yeah. your own. You know, like the more you sense. post, the more often you post, you'll figure out your time, I think. Yeah. yeah. All right, Steve, thank you so much. Yeah, Appreciate please, you, bro. Nice so here we got Mama Spool, sponsored Raw Gear Athlete. Hey. So a lot of people wanna get a fitness sponsorship. What is the best advice you have for them? Um, don't give up. Never give, give up. up. No matter how many times you get told no, just keep going. Every no is one step closer to a yes. There you go. So how did you go about obtaining a fitness sponsorship by Raw Gear? Um, I, I asked and they told me I needed to grow more. So I just kept working, kept grinding, and then I asked again and then they said yes. So when so you're told no? Yeah. When you're told no, just keep working towards it. Yes. Or when you fail, keep going. Yeah. Example right here. Um, so what got you into fitness? Ooh, I wanted abs. I really wanted some 
rock solid abs. I don't think I got the best ones, but they're better than they were. So, so, <laughs> so you wanted out. abs, so you started working out. Yeah. Okay, I guess that's a pretty good reason. I mean, I think it's a pretty shallow reason, but, <laughs> but now I do it because it's my therapy. So. That's like with me. Like I have to hit the gym to yeah. like have a good day. The gym is a must. If I don't, if I don't hit the gym, it's like. My yeah. whole day is just like shit. My like, day's trash without it. Like, literally, gym is key. Is make sure you make sure y'all follow Mama Swole. Also, another loco local from Ohio. That's right. So support Represent support. Ohio. Code Mama Swole. Code Mama Swole. All right. <laughs>